In this video, we will learn about floating point numbers. A floating point number has a decimal point in the value. There are two types of floating point numbers in C++, floats and doubles. Let's look at some examples of floats first. For example, we will create a float variable named f1 that we set equal to 2.0f. Note that float variables have a suffix of a lowercase f. Another example of a float would be a variable named f2 that we set equal to 2.5f. We can also have a float variable named f3 that we set equal to 2e minus 4f. This represents the number 2 times 10 to the negative fourth. Next, let's look at some examples of doubles. For example, we can create a variable of type double named d1 that we set equal to 6.0. Notice that a double does not have any suffix, whereas floats have the lowercase f at the end. Another example of a double would be if we have a variable named d2 that we set equal to 7.5. Also, we could have a variable of type double named d3 that we set equal to 8e-3, which corresponds to a value of 8 times 10 to the negative third. Let's look at the differences between floats and doubles. Floats and doubles are very similar, and both have decimal points in the values. A float has a size of 4 bytes, and a double, as the name would imply, has a size of 8 bytes. A float has a precision of 7 decimal places, and a double has a precision of 15 decimal places. A potential problem that we need to look out for is the potential loss of information when converting a double to a float. For example, Let's create a variable of type float named double to float, which we set equal to 2.12345678. Then we will output double to float to the console. When we run the code, notice that a few of the decimal values at the end were lost. This is because a float cannot hold as many decimal point values as a double can. We can also specify the number of decimal places that can be output to the console. For example, let's go to the top of the code and include IOMANIP. To set the precision that can be output to the console, we can utilize the setPrecision function. Let's use the setPrecision function and pass in a value of 3. Note that this function is exclusive, so it will set the precision to 2, not 3. When we run the code, Notice that only two decimal places were output. Mm -hmm. 